Hi, I'm Stuart Redout, the Productivity Coach, and I'm a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft. And today I want to talk to you about breakout rooms. Now, you might have used breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams a few months ago, but did you know there have been some new features which have been added in the last few weeks? So let's take a look at those. So here I am in a meeting here. Um, so this is me down here, this little uh, there's an avocado fellow. Let me just turn off my camera. There you go. Look, see, this is me down here little avocado fellow um, and then I've got tenant admin and I've got Jack here and we're all in a meeting together okay so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the breakout room functionality here um, and I'm going to set up two breakout rooms there we go um, and that will take a moment and then obviously I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is send people off into those so one of the new features which I really really love is it's up here in in the ellipsis menu up here just up here uh, is breakout room timers. So if I go up to there and go to room settings, then you can see we've got these settings here, which we had before about moving participants to rooms and allowing participants to return back to the main room. But we've also got a time limit. So here I can see that mine's already set for a minute, so I, but I could say actually, you know, we're gonna have, this is gonna be a 45 minute session. And at the end of it, people will come back into the room but let's just set it back uh, for a minute there. Okay, um, and now we shall start the rooms. These are auto assigned rooms. So uh, tenant admin and Jack should go into individual rooms. And in fact, when we just look there, we can see that that is exactly what's happening. So if I go and have a look at Jack's experience, there you go, you can see uh, he had that warning to say that the breakout room was starting and then he got moved. So here's Jack on his own, okay? So one of the things I really like is I went, oh, I need them to be together in the same room. So what I can do is click on to Jack there and assign him into room one. And now what will happen is Jack will get a message saying, you've been assigned to another room and you will automatically be moved in 10 seconds. So previously you had to actually stop the rooms and restart the rooms uh, for people to be um, to come up together. So now Jack's in this room here with tenant admin, and you can see just at the top of the room bar there, a warning saying this room will close in 30 seconds. Okay, so making it really clear to people uh, that they need to wrap up those conversations um, and return. So if I go back to my main meeting, here I am, I'm on my own, and just in a few seconds, uh, I would expect to see the participants Ooh. rejoining. So there we go, and the room's closed automatically, and they've rejoined back into, uh, into that main space. So those are just a couple of uh, features. Another one is persistence of uh, the breakout room membership. So if you've got a multi-series, uh, a multi-session event, then you can retain the breakout rooms um, each time so that they would keep coming back. So if we were working together and we had like a three day workshop and people got assigned into breakout rooms, when they come back again next time, they'll go back into those same rooms again. And there are loads of really exciting things that are coming up on the roadmap as well. So if you go onto the Microsoft 365 roadmap site, you'll see that one of the things which is coming up is uh, presenter support or breakout rooms so the presenters will be able to manage those breakout rooms and nip in between those breakout rooms in the same way as the meeting organizer can today. Hopefully you found that useful. Have a look at breakout rooms. See if there's something new that you are able to use in your organization. So thanks for watching and have a great day.